Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Sober Roddy. Today we're gonna be upgrading the radio in my Cyan TC. This, this is from the 2014 model. And because the one that's coming in the car from 2011 to 2013, it's kind of really boring. I don't know why Cyan's keep putting these boring radios inside their cars, but I'm gonna be upgrading it to the 2014. Hopefully, this one actually work properly. Hope I don't need a code. And I actually noticed that this right here have a little thing on it looks aftermarket might be a tracker maybe this car was a lease the car that came out of it this came out of sorry the car this came out of was a lease or something and it's some type of a tracker that they have built in and i hope that nobody has tracked me to my house so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to install this and uh i got this from the salvage yard where i got some other parts at it's coming in this video so this way i could actually go ahead and upgrade some of the things that's in this car because they're a little bit boring and give a little more a little bit more of a modern touch so um let's go ahead and try to make this work and um see <music> that came with the car do you see how boring that is like it works perfectly fine don't get me wrong it works perfectly fine um there's no issues with it the bluetooth and everything works it's just that it's a little bit boring you know to per se it looks like it's back in the 80s or 90s mainly 90s and it does have a cd player which once i remove this i would not have a cd player because let me go down right here this one doesn't come with a CD player and I don't really use a CD player to begin with so just putting that in will make a big difference why not uh, you mainly use Bluetooth anyways so it does have Bluetooth um, connection in there so hopefully that actually help with you know not missing the CD or not needing CD this one has the voice command so does the other one has voice command these two radios have both the same thing only difference is that the one that's in this car that came with the car have the cd the one that i'm gonna put in doesn't have cd so that's the only difference they're both pioneers so it should work so the only difference is that if it needs a code to work Hopefully it doesn't need a code because I forgot to look in the last glove box to see if the code was in the glove box, but that's so hopefully they could get away with it this one. Please tell you to be with me on the side. So um <laughs> let's go ahead and try to install this radio, try to update it, and see if we have hit gold. Alright, so let's get into that video right now. Alright, as you can see, this is a functional radio. You know, let me turn it on real quick. Car turns on. I'm not sure when they see. Let me turn this on. See? It works. Um, trying to find some radio. But I'm not trying to get demonetized over here. So turn that back off. So let's start about moving this. Alright, oh, turn that back off. The key. Let's, uh, oh, get that out. All right. On the back end, we have a little clip. Hold that clip for the airbag light and the clock and the emergency. And then we are exposed. Let me see. Can you see? Let me see. Let me zoom in a little bit. There we are. So we have now uh, the four screws. Oh, we're missing a screw. Look at that. That's not good. But we're still good right now. This is gonna take literally no time. So Pioneer is a good brand. Don't get me wrong. Like Pioneer is a really good brand, and they've been around for a long time. And they're very easy to work with. 
but when they are built into a car you don't know what complications you're gonna have all right so let's go ahead and remove that Ooh, look at all that wire okay so you can tell how bigger it is because of course it has a cd changer in there and that is just ugh. okay so let's remove that plug remove this plug this one first. Let me get to this one. Press out. And out. And then out. All right. So that is disconnected. And look, we could have added, actually add some subwoofers to that if we really wanted to. All right. So we're gonna pick up our other one now and drop it on top. Okay. Well, let's disconnect these wires. I cut these wires out because I wasn't sure if I'm going to run into any issues, so I'll make sure I have them still. So I took them from the other car. Okay, let's remove this. Come on, out you go. And then we're going to make that one. And this is on the other side. Huh, hold on. Let's uh, take that out. Okay, cut that out. And we're just going to rip this out. Not needed. All right. Match them up and see what difference we got. All right, so seems like we have these two connectors. Oh, sorry, Ugh. gotta hold them up. Seems like we have these two connectors are the same. Uh, these are the same, these are the same, and that one we well, it's a CD changer, so we don't really have that for a CD anymore. And that one is missing, and we got this over here now. So hopefully, oh, <laughs> one hand in this, <laughs> I'm really one hand in this. So we have this here, different placement, and take that back. I think that this would have to do with like a radio or something or DVD. I don't know what what this is, but you know what that is, game system type deal. All right, so let's take this and put it on here. Now, I'm doing this in one shot, <laughs> no editing needed. So let's uh, go ahead and try to install this back in here. Oh, all this wire is like all over the place. Let me organize this a little bit because I feel disorganized. Uh, that's all messed stuff. Uh, anyways, let's uh, plug this in. Uh, where's this one? This one is right here. We're gonna. What is this? Huh. I'm confused, but we're gonna see. And then you go there. And then you go here. And there's that one. Now we got this one that comes here. Oh, there's no not much room to play with. There. What is this stuff? It's so messy. Ugh. Can I get it off? Hold on, let me try and get this thing off because it is really messy. Um, let me try to get that stuff off. I think I just made it worse too. Ugh. Come out. And you're out. Okay. So, just took a, uh, what do you call it? thumbnail but um i try to clean this up as best as possible but it's like really messy um it's like getting everywhere and i just did my be the best i can i could all right so let's try and install this again all right so let's go there we're gonna install all the wires that look similar to what came out that goes there uh this one here goes like so oh i think i just connected this by accident i did that goes there okay what am i missing what am i missing oh the gray one gotta get the gray one the gray one goes on this side this time and this guy goes there and him oh that goes up top all right oh look it seems like i got all of them come on that's difficult no that won't do it 
Yeah, so that's good. Um, hmm. Seems like we got everything. Seems like everything is there. Okay. Let's um install up our radio just temporarily. I'm just gonna put one bolt in. One bolt in, and we're gonna turn the key. I shut the camera, I'm sorry. But let's see what happens. Oh, <gasps> yo! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's calm down real quick. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, proceed with caution. I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Like, yo, bro, you don't know how satisfying this is right now. Like, you really don't know. Like, haha, huh? -ha? huh? What's that? All right. Um, we're gonna do that later on. But as the FM works, let's see how we go. <gasps> oh, shit. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, oh. <laughs> like, bro, I'm like, um, oh, hold on. Let me see here real quick. Let's go to FM. Let's go to a uh, radio channel. Let's go to five. Let's uh, see if we could. Oh, uh, can we scan? One, and the idea oh. was that Yo! customers could order <laughs> delivery. All right, all right, all right. It was actually a fraud. Let's, 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 uh, we're not trying to. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm not trying to get demonetized. All right, all right, all right, all right. Well, my phone is here. This all means to record. But if all this works, that means that. Uh, guys. Guys. It's that simple. Plug and play don't go steal other people's um radios now do not go and steal other people's radios that'll be messed up i just did this because i got this from a salvage yard the scientist was crashed and i saw the radio in it and i was like okay let me see if i could get the radio out of it and see if it works my worries was that if it has a code se uh, sequence i would not be able to get it to work but as you can see I don't need a code. So, uh, that is so, so orgasmic right now. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and uh, show you the other stuff I got going on for this car. Let's do that. Let's put this back together because this is crazy. This is crazy. I don't have to, but I'm still gonna save my radio just in case I need it for the future or in the future. I'm gonna save that because I'm not sure if I'm gonna need it later on. If something was to go wrong with this radio, I would have a radio to use at all times. So I'm not gonna get rid of that. All right. I need a bolt because this one was missing a bolt and then we used it in the bottom. So let me go get another one of my bolts here. I'm just enjoying this video right now. You guys don't understand like how satisfying this is because it's just one of those things where like, you never think it'll work. But when it does, you're like, yo, that just came in clutch. Like it's amazing when something comes together. So my next move is, which I didn't get um, from the other car. So due to the fact that this works, then I'm gonna actually go back to that salvage yard and I'm gonna get the door cards and these trim pieces from the other car. So you see how plain this is? The ones, oh, oh forgetting something. I gotta put this back in. Right. it's as if nothing happened yo that is crazy um so i'm gonna go back to the the salvage yard and i'm gonna get these trim pieces 
because and the door cards and stuff because hopefully if they're not damaged because once something goes to damage salvage yard people like damage them and scuff them and stuff like that but these ones are kind of like really plain more of the stuff on the inside of there um so i'm gonna try and do that oh huh. i took it from when i took the flight to go pick up this car um so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and try to replace these if it's if i'm not too late to replace them and but if not then it's what it is and yeah i am excited so let me show you the next two upgrades i have for this car all right like i said i have a few upgrades for this car so i have the 2014 tc taillights and i'm not sure if they're gonna fit but they look about the same if it's the same chassis like if it's the same body fitment of these of uh, the fourth if it's the same body fitment sorry if it's the same body fitment of the 13 and 14 it should work it should definitely work have no issue with it now <laughs> like you got to stay tuned in the next video for me installing these and the next upgrade i got is also the rear bumper i don't know this is gonna be uh one of those things i want i love the the rear end i i love how it is like it's nice and fat you know what i mean so <laughs> so and it has this uh, rain light on the bottom but it's not really a light it's like a dummy light but i'm gonna drill a hole in it and install a new a light in it so yeah so you have to stay tuned for the next videos to see what's going on and that's it for this one can this work can this really work i'm not sure um but if it's the same body style if it's the same structure of everything it should work so don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video because it's gonna be me installing these which i'm gonna go ahead and do it right now so you cannot miss the next video so let's get into that and i'll see you in the next one peace